Today's video is a fun one. I'm gonna talk all about the products that I use every single day, but rarely talk about. I did this video 10 months ago and I just feel like I have all new products to share and it's gonna be fun. But first, I just wanna drop in a clip of Thumper because he's just the cutest thing in the world. I think we can all agree that Thumper does not make nearly enough appearances on this channel. Where are you going? Oh, he's going after the oh, oh. Are you going after the UPS guy or post office guy? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Come here. Come here. Supper. Come here. Big dog. Yeah, come here, big dog. Let's go. Hi, baby. Come here. You want a big dog hug? You want a big dog kiss? Yeah. Here he goes. <laughs> Baby. Hi, before we get into the video, I just want to thank today's sponsor, which is In Beauty. They have a very exciting announcement. Some of my favorite products now come in a cost saving kit. So you can get my number one favorite from In Beauty, the face glaze. You can get their new launch, the bright and tight eye cream that has been sold out on Sephora forever. And this awesome little like eye cryo roller, all of that for a value of $74 for $59, and with my code KATE15, you get an additional 15% off. I'm gonna go through each one super quick. Face Glaze, feels like a moisturizer, has a soft focus glow, almost blurs the skin, and the texture of it is so nice because it just sets down to a satin finish. It's not wet looking, it just makes you look like you've really cared for your skin. And because it's in a cream, you can use it as a highlighter, as a primer mixed in with moisturizer, you can use it on your body. It's just the perfect multifunctional product. This is, I don't know, I'm about to run out. It's like my fifth tube at this point. The Bright and Tight eye cream really surprised me because I'm not an eye cream girl, so I wasn't expecting to really be interested in it, but it actually feels more like a gel serum, like a hydrating gel cream serum hybrid. And so it's not heavy, it doesn't interfere with makeup, but what's great about it is it actually has some illuminating particles and it has a slight little tint. So when you look at the before and after, you can see that you do look more refreshed when you're wearing this. And the sleeper hit for me was this little eye roller. You know, I don't like cryo rollers because I feel like when you want to use them on your eyes, it doesn't fit into the crevices of your eyes. And then I just, I don't know, it's just like, it's not a very ergonomic design for me, but this is, the way that this is shaped fits in right on my lids and in the corner of my eyes and under my eyes so perfectly. And it stays ice cold. I don't even keep it in the fridge or the freezer. So this is like a random weird little freebie that I'm obsessed with. And I hope that they eventually sell this separately because this would make such a fantastic gift. And like, I don't know, this weird little thing just completely took my heart. So if you've been wanting to get your hands on the bright and tight eye cream, but it has been sold out everywhere forever, getting it in this kit is a really great option. And if you were interested in all these products, it does help you to save a little bit of money, especially with my code Kate15. So thank you InBeauty for sponsoring this portion of the video. And now let's get into the products. I feel so bad for Wander Beauty because this is one of my favorite products of all time, like most repurchased product of all time. And yet I always forget to include them in my videos. I filmed my Sephora recommendations video ahead of the spring sale. Completely forgot to mention this as I always do in the Sephora recommendations video because I keep these baggage claim eye masks in my fridge. And so they're never in any of my rooms where I'm looking at products to pull for videos. These are the best eye mask that money can buy. I love them. They're expensive. They're single use, which I don't like, but they're phenomenal. And for me, they're very much worth the money. I have extraordinarily sensitive skin and the most sensitive area for me is around my eye area. And most patches just really sting my eyes. Even if they just have very simple hydrate ingredients, I don't know what it is, but these are so soothing and they're deeply hydrating. But the best part about them is they have kind of like a cloth fabric on the side that touches your eye. And on the other side is kind of like a really flexible, soft foil. So these really adhere to your eyes. And then they stay. They don't slide around. You could leave these on for an hour, and sometimes I do, although they kind of evaporate by that point, so I wouldn't let it get to that point. But they're amazing. Nothing is better than this in terms of eye masks, and I just feel so bad for forgetting to talk about them because I truly use them almost every day, and they are 
phenomenal. They make a fantastic gift. They're a great treat yourself gift as well. I just really think it's the kind of product that anyone would love because, you know, we all like hydration under our eyes. Two makeup items. The first I have to talk about is the Fit Glow Concealer in C2.5. I'm wearing it today and I'll show you the demo. It's the best concealer that I've ever used and I think it's so perfect that I can't see it being improved. I think it will forever be my favorite concealer. This is extraordinarily thick. It is tacky. It's full coverage. It has an eye cream blended in with the mineral pigments. And so you're doing something great for your skin. It's antibacterial. So you can use it on your acne like I do. And it has this hydrated yet blurred effect under the eyes. And I never have to set it with powder. So I've been wearing it for at least nine hours today and I'll zoom you in. So ignore the sparkles I have under my eyes from my eyeshadow, but the concealer looks really, really good. I mean, that's like nine hours of wear. And that's the only amount of creasing that I have. And it still looks full coverage, just like when I applied it. And do you want to know why? Because it's tacky, because it stays in place, because it's sticky and it does not move. That's why this is so remarkable. They really nailed the formula. So just do what I did in the application clip, a little bit in the corner, a little bit wherever your darkness is, and that is it. And my favorite way to apply it is always with the Fit Glow Dual Ended Brush. It's just, it's my favorite concealer brush. I use this for blemishes and I use that for under my eyes. It's it's a perfect combo. And if you want 20% off Fit Glow, you can use my code Kate20, spelled K-A-I-T 20. I use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Brunette every single time I do my brows. It's the only brow pencil that I own. Nothing ever comes close to this because it has that perfect little skinny tip that just mimics brow hairs, comes with a pretty great shade range and a spoolie on the end. And I just think it makes my brows look defined and yet still natural. And I think it's about $6.99 on Ulta. So like you can't beat it. But when it comes to product favorites videos and things like that, I tend to focus on new stuff and new things I'm trying and just things I'm really excited about. And I tend to leave out my long-term favorites, like my Fit Glow Concealer and this brow pencil and a few others, just because I I don't want to be too repetitive, but I use this and I use the Fit Glow Concealer every day. The next product is a daily essential for me and <laughs> it's Athletic Greens. This is like all looking wet because I just pulled it out of the fridge, but inside you just get a green powder. Oh, should not open that. And every morning I put one scoop into my Athletic Greens shaker bottle and I fill it up with eight ounces of water. And for me, it is the best way to start my day. I have been purchasing Athletic Greens for I think about five years now, maybe even longer. And they're very expensive. And I know a lot of people hate this brand because of how overpriced this is, but truly it is my favorite green powder. It gives me a lot of the vitamins and minerals I need, but most importantly, it just starts my day right. Otherwise, I would be going straight into my matcha latte, but this just gives me that first little health kick in the morning that reminds me to kind of nourish myself and take care of myself throughout the day. So honestly, it's kind of more of a mental thing for me. It's like, I have to start my day with Athletic Greens. If I just get my Athletic Greens, then I know I'm at least doing something right for myself. The next product I use every day, but I just rarely talk about is the Peach and Lily Lazy Day All-in-One Moisture Pads. These were recommended to me by my friend Dev, who is Dev's Day on Instagram. She's Devin Jessmer on YouTube and I'll link her channel above here. She's an esthetician and I honestly think that the majority of my skincare products are recommended by her. I trust her wholeheartedly. She's an amazing YouTuber, friend, all around person. She's extremely honest and she's also just very smart and knowledgeable. And she positioned this as kind of a cleanser, toner, hydrating serum all in one. And she likes using them like after she works out or first thing in the morning. And that's exactly how I like to use them as well. What's great about these is the pads are actually biodegradable. So typically I try to avoid any kind of product that's a single use product. So I, I don't really like, you know, using cotton pads. Instead, when I have a toner, I'll just put the toner straight in my hands and then I'll put it all over my face. You know, I think it's good to try to reduce waste wherever we can. And so I'm glad that Peach and Lily has biodegradable pads. And these are just amazing. Normally something that comes in a pad irritates my skin, but not these. They kind of, you know, cleanse your skin first thing in the morning if I don't want to fully wash my face and I don't want to do my whole skincare routine. I'll just use one of these pads all over my face and neck, follow up with my moisturizer and a sunscreen, and I am good to start my day. I just love them. Probably, yeah, no, they're my favorite Peach of the Lake product. Yeah, I feel confident in saying that. I love the brand, and I think this is definitely my favorite one. Okay, the next product I use almost every single day, but I never talk about it because it's very expensive. My Omnilux LED mask. This is something I purchased myself. I believe it's around $400. Let me tell you, this 
baby has practically paid for itself at this point. I've owned it for over a year, I think. And it's LED masks aren't the kind of product where you notice before and after results. You really have to be consistent with them and use them long term to see results. But I notice results when I stop using them, which is how I know it's working. If I go on vacation and I don't bring this, I notice this pesky little bitch of a freckle right here on my upper lip will start coming back. And what's funny is correcting sun damage is actually not a claim that I think red light LED masks make, but I've seen the biggest impact in a lot of my hyperpigmentation, especially this like pesky little freckle that I have. But what it is really supposed to do is help to soothe the skin. It has incredible healing properties. So if you have sensitive reactive skin like I have, this is an absolute essential. And aside from healing and soothing the skin, it's also supposed to really help uh, uh, boost collagen, help with firmness, you know, soften some fine lines and wrinkles. So this is the Omnilux one and I like it best for my face because it's very, very thin and flexible. I also have a current body LED mask and this one I wear at the same time and it just goes around your neck and so you can get your neck so I can get that wrinkle, my tech neck here, and then I can get my chest. My chest got fucked when I was a teenager. I just fried my body and my chest is just permanently damaged. It just, it has a lot of sun damage, a lot of freckles. And so I think the next time I get some like laser therapy done, it'll probably be on my chest. But this really does help in the meantime with that hyperpigmentation and with that skin that was very, very damaged. I also have the current body LED face mask, which I keep in John's parents' house in Berkeley just so I don't have to travel with it all the time. The difference is that as you can see with this one, it's the same material. It's not not quite as flexible as Omnilux. Actually, this does look pretty flexible now that I'm looking in the monitor, but you'll just have to take my word for it. The face LED mask is a little, a little bit more structured. I just prefer the flexibility of the Omnilux one. However, the Omnilux one rarely has sales and I am associated with Current Body. So if you want to get 15% off Current Body, you can use my code KATECB, spelled K-A-I-T-C-B. So uh, I think Current Body is a slightly cheaper than Omnilux. Lux, but they have the same benefits. They have the same science. My friend Vanessa Gold to Get Glowing actually did compare like 10 different LED masks and she found Omnilux and Current Body basically to be the same thing. So splurge on Omnilux if you want something that's really going to be flexible and like mold to your face. Get the Current Body if you want the exact same product, um, but just for a little bit less expensive. So when it comes to LED masks, I don't want to talk about it all the time because they are around $400 and I feel like people would get kind of exhausted of hearing about that, but I use them five days a week and I see results and I I cannot live without them. They are such an essential in my nighttime routine. The next fancy device that I have is my Zip microcurrent and nanocurrent device. And that also goes along with the Zip Silver Gel, which is the one that's for sensitive skin. And first of all, the way you use it is I find that I need 12 pumps of the Silver Gel to slather all over my face and neck. Sounds like a lot, but the more conductive gel you use, the less you will feel the electricity throughout the device. And if you don't use enough gel, it can kind of shock your skin. In, so you really want to make sure that you have a lot of conductive gel on. But when I do this, I really do feel feel a difference. You may not be able to see a difference, but it's very possible that this is doing wonderful things for me for long-term benefits. There are a ton of YouTube videos about the Zip device versus the new face, which you kind of hold like this, and it has two bulbs. I like that the Zip device fits in your hand better. It has a better ergonomic design. When I use this every day, I really do feel a before and after difference with this, which is why I prefer using it in the morning. And the way that the founder described it is basically like putting energy back into aging cells. And that is supposedly how it helps with firmness and boosting collagen. And as I'm getting older, that is my number one skin concern. And how you use it is after you apply the conductive gel, you open the app on your phone and you just click which kind of facial you wanna do. They have ones that are just two minutes where you can get really targeted. Say, if you wanna just work the nasolabial fold or you just wanna work your eyes or your forehead or your neck or whatever, or you can do full facials up to, I believe, 14 minutes and it combines microcurrent and nanocurrent waves. And they say microcurrent is what makes Makes you see a little bit more of like before and after results. Nanocurrent, you can't feel, but it's what's going to give you long-term results. So they have both in this. And I just love it. It's easy to use. It makes my skin feel like tighter and just more energized and refreshed in the morning. I just haven't been able to be like 
consistent enough to really see if it's plumping things like I've wanted it to, but I am trying to be better about using it every day and I think I could see results if I really stick with it. The next product I use not just every day, but like all day every day is my original Bite Agave Lip Mask. Moment of silence for the hero that this used to be. This was the best lip balm that has ever been created. And I know a lot of you agree with me. When Bite made the horrifying mistake to reformulate this and make it vegan, it broke hearts around the world. I have been searching for a dupe for this for ages and I've come close. The Lana Lips or the Lano Golden Salve Balm, very similar in texture, but it's not quite as sticky. It's a little bit more slippy, but it's very thick. It still has lanolin and beeswax. And so it's, it's really beautiful and it works great, but I really, really like the subtle sweet scent of the Bite Agave Lip Mask. And I love how just it's kind of grippy and long lasting it is. Like it's, you know it, you know it. You guys have all tried it. Like it's thick, it stays on your lips forever. It's the most effective lip balm I've ever tried. I've actually talked to John about trying to launch my own brand just to dupe the Bite Agave Lip Mask and then calling it a day because all I want is for someone to create this goddamn product. Yeah, I purchased like, I think maybe 10 of these when I found out that they were reformulating and then I went on eBay and I bought more and then I went on Instagram and I asked people if anyone would have these and would be willing to send them to me and a bunch of people did. So I have like 20 of them. They haven't gone bad. I'm still using them and loving them and I'm basically trying to hold on to them so I can find a way to dupe these because it's that good. On that note, I do have two other lip balms that I use every day and I love. Um, the, Lale the, blah, blah, blah. the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Berry. I love this one. I repurchased it so many times. It smelled like delicious berry candy. I love the scent. I'm sure you guys have all tried this so you know the texture. I feel like it's a love it or a hate it product. People either think it's like one of the best lip balms ever or you hate it and you it did nothing for you. For me, I am the former. I feel like it's a really effective lip balm. I love that it has vitamin C. Slather it on my lips at night and then I wake up with soft pillowy lips. I love it. And a recent favorite that I keep in this room at my desk when I'm working um, at my corporate job is the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Complex Lip Balm, the one in the pink tube. And now I lost the light because what are we gonna do? This is incredibly impressive for a vegan formula. I just, I typically find that vegan lip formulas don't do anything for me, but Pacifica I did something magical with this. What kind of freaked me out at first is it looked heavily tinted, like a kind of purpley pink. And so I thought that I could only wear it when I was wearing makeup. But as you can see in the application clip, it's actually almost clear. So don't let the tint scare you. You can totally use it at night. I've never had an issue with any like color getting on my pillows or anything like that. Mm, it just smells, what does it smell like? Oh, vanilla custard. It's not, it's not like a vanilla bean. It's like a vanilla custard. Oh no. Oh, I got a little excited when I was smelling it. Oh no. Oh, there's shimmer in it too. Hold on, look, check it out. There's shimmer in it. While I clean that up, um, just gonna add a little bit to my lips actually because I don't want this to go to waste. I wonder if I can save this in like a little container. Nah. It's probably like $8 on Ulta, who am I kidding? Sometimes I just get really carried away about scents. I I like went to another universe when I was trying to figure out the scent of that lip balm. And now I'm super sticky. The next product I use almost every day is the Beach Waver Curling Iron. This is the 1.25 inch. And if you ever see my hair curled, this is what did it. What I love about it is that if you press these buttons, it automatically, ow, oh my God. Oh, that hurt. Oh no. Oh, that's gonna bruise. Okay, don't do what I did. Um, if you press these buttons when it's plugged in, it will automatically rotate for you. So for people like me who have chronic illness and like arms get very, very tired easily, it's great because since it has a clamp, obviously you don't have to just be like holding your arms up. You can just keep your arms down here, but you don't even have to like twist it around with this automatic rotation. It's really, really helpful. It also heats up in I think 10 seconds. So it goes from zero to 350 degrees like that. And so I don't have to spend a lot of time waiting for my curling iron to heat up. I can just plug it in, boom, 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 boom. My hair's done in about five minutes flat and I'm good to go. Oh, and I checked the website right now. This is actually on sale. I think it's final sale for this particular style. Used to be $149 and it's on sale for just 44. And I think I have a code. Yeah, oh, sick. I can get you 20% off with my code, State of Kate. So 
20% off 44 is really good deal. Oh, the next one is so important to my daily routine. My 18 ounce Yeti Rambler, cannot live without it. Let me tell you how this changed my life. So I'm not much of a water drinker, never have been. The only way I've really been able to force myself to drink water is through herbal tea or with my hydrant electrolytes. I hate plain water. Back in October, Liv Tinted invited me to the launch party of the new season of The Sex Lives of College Girls. And John and I went and they gifted me a big Yeti Rambler and it was a yellow one. And I gave it to John because I was like, I'm never gonna use something like this. I just have my tea in my mug and I'm good. And then John started using it every single day and I got really jealous and I had to buy one for myself. Basically what we do is we just put a pinch of salt in it and then fill it up with hot water. And now I'm addicted to water, just plain hot water. It's great because you're not like constantly going through tea bags. It's not expensive. It's just a really comforting, hot, soothing beverage. And I love it. It keeps your water hot for hours and hours and hours. So if you have a hard time drinking water, try just putting hot water in a big old Yeti like this. And I like adding salt to it because that helps make the water more hydrating, which is a tip I learned at NYU in my vocal tech class. It also kind of makes the flavor of the water a little bit better, but it doesn't taste salty if you use just a pinch. Can't live without it. I absolutely love it. I think the Yetis are kind of expensive, but they're worth it. The next product is no stranger to my channel. I just wanted to re-emphasize how much I love it. It's the Notorium cleansing balm and it's $19. You can get it on Amazon, Target, or the Notarium website. Being honest, my favorite cleansing balms or first cleanse products are the Pharmacy Green Clean and the Fit Glow Cleansing Oil, but those are both in the $40 range and I run through cleansing balms like no other. So I just personally can't justify the price of a really expensive cleansing balm when I'm running out of them like every other month. So for me, $19 is great, fantastic value, and you get a whopping three ounces in here. It's totally fragrance and essential oil free. I'm pretty much out of this one, and it has a nice cross between a more sorbet cleansing balm texture like the Pharmacy Green Clean and a creamier one. I just think it's amazing. The next product I use every day but rarely talk about is the Refer Gentle cleanser. This is by far my favorite cleanser. It's very gentle and soothing as the name suggests. It's a beautiful hydrating cleanser that comes out as a gel and then it just transforms into like the most luxuriously rich foam on the face and not a foam because that sounds kind of stripping. It's just like a creamy foamy lather that is so satisfying and so luxurious. I love the black packaging of this. I love unisex packaging. It's super soothing, never stripping, and it just feels really luxurious and it cleans my face beautifully. Love that it comes in a pump as well. Definitely my favorite cleanser. And I would say the In Beauty Keep It Clean is my number two. That one's great because it's a multifunctional cleanser. That one's John's favorite, but I prefer the way that this one is really soothing and foams really well. And John prefers the In Beauty one because it functions as a first and a second cleanse. The next product I use every day is the Naturium Benzoyl Peroxide Cream Cleanser. I love this cream consistency and what I do in my shower. This this sounds probably like super extra, but I cleanse my face three times. I have acne prone skin and I can handle it. I do the Naturium cleansing balm to get all my sunscreen and makeup off. Then I go in with my Refer Gentle Cleanser or my In Beauty Keep It Clean Cleanser on a washcloth and I will just make sure that I'm really getting all that makeup off. That's my second step to make sure everything's off. And then for areas where I break out, I apply this like a mask and I'll leave it on for 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes in the shower and it does a great job. You can really feel it working, but it's never stripping. I absolutely love it. And you know, it's from Naturium, so it's a more affordable brand. Oh, and it's also fragrance and essential oil free. Same thing with the Refer Cleanser and the Naturium Cleansing Balm. I use my trace minerals, um, what are they called? TM Sport Electrolyte Stamina Tablets. Yeah, tablets. These are my electrolyte supplements. If you don't know, I have a bunch of chronic illnesses. One of them is called POTS, Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. Basically like my blood pressure randomly drops and I pass out. And something that really helps with that is taking a lot of electrolytes throughout the day. This says to take four to six tablets kind of divided throughout the day, but I am prescribed about 2,500 milligrams of salt every day to help increase my blood volume. And I wear compression socks every day. And that kind of helps instead of passing out or instead of getting super faint, I might just feel a little bit weak. It really, really does help when I have these. Next, my beeswax candles on my little iron plates that I get both on Amazon. Nothing 
produces as bright of a flame as these. They have a very, very thick wick. But most importantly for me, I just love the way that these light up a room. I have five of these all around my bedroom. I have them all around the house downstairs and it just transforms my mood, my energy. It just, it makes me feel like I'm done working for the day. I can relax and it just, it just totally transforms everything for me. These candles are fantastic and combined with these little plates, it's just perfect. Oh, I forgot one. Also, the Thrive Mascara. Nothing ever comes close to this formula. It makes my lashes lifted, lengthened, volumized. It never flakes or smudges on me and it removes perfectly with warm water. Nothing can improve this, like nothing. No tubing formula has ever come close to this. I just think it is the best mascara that money can buy. And I know I have heard some people say that it flaked or smudged on them, but it never has on me. It's truly the perfect formula. The only reason I sometimes don't use this in videos is because it's a little bit on the pricier side and it's kind of hard to get. If you just buy this on the Thrive website, you have to pay for shipping. And something inside me is just angry paying for shipping. And so I hate doing that. And, you know, I always like to review new mascaras, especially now that more and more washable and tubing formulas are coming out, but nothing will ever beat the Thrive Mascara. If I'm doing my makeup off camera, 100% of the time I'm using the Thrive. When it comes to skincare, I'm very limited in what I can test because I use Tretinoin and Epiduo Forte and I alternate them every other day. I do find that Epiduo Forte helps with my acne a little bit more, whereas Tretinoin can help with fine lines and wrinkles. Tret is supposed to help with acne as well, but I just find that the inclusion of benzoyl peroxide in here with the Adapalene is really helpful. So I like to alternate them. You can't get this over the counter. You have to get a prescription or you could use a company like Curology. I Think, or maybe it's apostrophe. And I used to get Epiduo Forte, which was the brand name, and now I just get the generic. And for the past few months, I've also finally started Tret or Tretinoin at the 0.025 strength. I actually find that my Adapalene is more intense than this Tret. So I think I actually need to go a little bit of a, a strength up because I'm so used to um, vitamin A or retinoids that I think my skin can handle a little bit more. And that's why you rarely see me testing any retinol or retinoid products. Nothing is ever going to beat this. It's just not really worth it. And I'm not going to see results because I would just go back to using these anyways. I just like doing the strong shit and then keeping the rest of it really simple. Two more products. I've got my ceremonial grade matcha. This is the brand Aya. I get this at my local health food store. It's by far my favorite matcha powder. So the way I make this is first I add two teaspoons or around that in a very large mug. I add some hot water and I use my matcha whisk to get it nice and foamy and blended. Meanwhile, in my frother, I'll put a little mini can of coconut cream. I'll fill the rest up with almond milk and that creates the most beautiful, velvety, luxurious foam. I'm paleo, so I use used to do it with oat milk, but now I can't have grains or oats or anything like that, but highly recommend it with coconut cream. It's so, 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 so good. And I never find that the matcha throws my stomach off like coffee does. It never makes me feel jittery or overly caffeinated. One latte is exactly what I need and it just, it makes me feel great. And lastly, a little random wildcard option. I don't know why I included this. <laughs> it's the Floridex Sensitivity Relief Prescription Strength Anti-Cavity Toothpaste. Okay, listen, I have EDS, which is hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It is a collagen deficiency disorder. It affects nearly every organ system in my body, including my teeth. So people with EDFs have very, very weak enamel. We're incredibly prone to cavities. We have a whole bunch of problems with our mouths, everything. It's a nightmare, it sucks. But this toothpaste is great and you can only get it on like one website, which is like dentalessentials.com or something like that. I don't remember. It's not like you can get it on Amazon. This though is phenomenal and it really, it's great. I use it twice a day. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video with a lot of random shit that I use every single day and just really never talk about. I would love to know some of yours. I just, these are the kinds of videos that make me so excited because they combine beauty with other things that I love talking about. And I know that people don't really watch my general favorites videos, but they're just so fun to film and I'm so passionate about them. I'd love to know if you have any recommendations for me in these kinds of categories as well. And feel free to drop me any video ideas in the comment section below. Always looking for new ideas. You know, I have a full-time job and I just 
Mentally, it's really hard for me to come up with video ideas. So feel free to always leave me suggestions. I really enjoy seeing what people want and I'm really feeling passionate to kind of shake things up on my channel a bit as it's been more review focused. So I would love your suggestions. And if you made it this far, thanks so much. I appreciate you and I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you in the next one.